Hello Wolfpack, I want to talk about Swipe uh, SXP. Uh, for those of you who have watched the channel before, you know that I don't just, um, you know, keep everything bullish, you know, I have some bearish arguments, and I certainly do have a variety of bearish arguments for Swipe. I also have some bullish ones, um, but for full disclosure, and for those of you who are wondering whether I hold it personally, I don't hold Swipe personally uh, at this point in time. I did hold Swipe earlier in the bull run at the start of this year, um, but honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest, I was left quite underwhelmed, uh, and I still think that it is a bit of an underwhelming coin. Uh, it seems like one of these coins that, you know, you know, on paper should, you know, do very, very well, but um, it, in fact, it's been lagging quite significantly, and I think we can see that by the chart here. You know, we can see a lot of, you know, uh, technically the structure's bullish, right? Because we can look on the weekly chart, okay? We can see that technically the structure's bullish, right? We're consistently making uh, higher lows, um, but these higher lows are being made over a very long period of time, right? This is about a year and a bit uh, of higher lows. And yes, these lows are uh, increasing to a certain extent, but we're in a bull market, right? We're coming up on the uh, last three or four months of the bull market. Um, we want to be accelerating on Swipe and we just aren't seeing any kind of acceleration. Um, and we haven't really been seeing any kind of acceleration for, for a long time, right? Uh, we can see that Swipe... Uh, pulled off this high here in July or August 2020 uh, at around $5.15. And even in the peak of the bull market that we had so far, we only reached uh, around 6 bucks, which was uh, only a little bit higher, right? Only about 15% uh, higher or 16% higher than that high made in July or August in 2020, which wasn't even a bull market at all, right? So there is reason to be uh, upset about Swipe's performance, it's 100% guarantee there. Uh, we're also not really consistently making higher highs, right? We're not really making higher highs. We made a higher high, higher high, we've failed to make one here. Uh, so it's a bit of a dodgy chart, right? It's a bit of a dodgy chart. Um, and I will say that for those of you who don't know what Swipe is, essentially it's a service that you can use. Um, in, in, well, they have a, a, D, a DEX as well called Swipe Swap, but the main component of Swipe is they're partnered um, with Binance, who are very closely connected to Binance. And it's essentially a service you can use to order a crypto card. You spend money with the crypto card, you get um, money back in uh, various cryptocurrencies, right? Very similar to crypto.com, right? I've got the Swipe chart, got crypto.com here, right? You can see they look kind of similar. Right, they look kind of similar. Um, the only difference in these charts, really, on a fundamental level, is Swipe is way more spiky. Right, so way more um, volatile. Crypto.com, you can see much more smooth movements here. Uh, obviously, there's exceptions to that. And Swipe has massive differences between the market cap and the price. Uh, Crypto.com does not have that. Right, this is due to uh, new coins coming into circulation that are essentially um, devaluing the price of existing Swipe coins. So we can see that Swipe right now, even in the current state of the market, should practically be at new all-time highs. Right. Even right now, it should be at new all-time highs. But whereas Swipe was well, all the way down here at around $2.30, and its all-time high is over double, almost triple uh, the current price away. And, you know, this is why I don't like Swipe, right? It just feels like feels like no matter what, uh, you know, happens in terms of the bullishness for Swipe, uh, there's always a way that this coin just gets dragged down. Um, and I'm not really too fond of that right now. And, you know, we see that even back here, even in April, um, and comparing that to August, I just made that comparison before. Um, we should have been well above. We reached a market cap of around 288 million uh, here in July and August. Um, and in the April run-up, the May run-up, we reached 500 million. We should have been almost double this price target here. We should have been at least almost, you know, just, just below $10 in Swipe. But we only reached around 6 USD. Uh, and that's due to the fact that, you know, that market cap to price uh, differentiations uh, is really taking effect and really hammering down um, this price, no matter how many buyers there are. Uh, so we really don't want to be seeing that take price anymore in the future. Uh, but it seems to be, you know, the biggest problem for Swipe in this bull market, uh, the constant uh, bringing new coins into circulation. And that's why I'm not necessarily too fond of uh, the idea of Swipe going into, you know, the triple digits. A lot of people are calling for $100 Swipe. I've been hearing it for months and months. Uh, and I think people are going to be very disappointed when that doesn't happen due to the fact that it's just simply too hard to materialize uh, with this amount of um, you know, destruction happening in the tokenomics. But, you know, it's not all bearish. You know, it's not all bearish. As I said, we still have these high, uh, higher lows being formed on Swipe. And I don't want you to, you know, if you're watching this video, I don't want you to just dislike the video just because I disagree with you, right? Um, you know, I still firmly believe 
uh, in terms of fundamentals that crypto cards like Swipe, like Crypto.com um, are truly, uh, in a sense, revolutionary to the current financial system. It is a great way to get people um, to get familiar with cryptocurrencies um, in a way that they are already familiar with, right? The best way to, uh, you know, convince someone to do something is, uh, you know, give them something they are already familiar with that relates to the topic you want them to get interested in. Uh, and naturally their interest will grow in that topic over time, especially, um, you know, with, with Swipe, for example, you know, you give someone who's a fan of the current banking system uh, a crypto card, it functions exactly the same as a normal card, but they get money back, um, you know, and then they'll be naturally uh, interested in that. And, you know, because everyone likes money, right? Everyone likes money. Um, and, you know, it's just a great way. And especially for crypto enthusiasts as well. Like, you know, if you if you really believe in cryptocurrency, you should be kind of contributing to that and integrating crypto into your everyday life. And these cards, Swipe and Crypto.com enable you to do that. So fundamentally, I think it's very good, right? Fundamentally, I think it's very good. I think the partnership of Binance is great, right? Swipe is often uh, plastered on the front page of Binance because, you know, they want it to pump. They want it to pump. Um, and, you know, it has been pumping. It has been pumping, just not in terms of price, right? Just not in terms of price. As I said, the market cap has been pumping, right? We should be much higher than we are right now, but that's just not materializing on the charts, which is why it's not really a good long-term hold for my personal opinion, right? Um, but, you know, let's look, let's put all of that aside. Let's put all of that aside. What we can see uh, in terms of price action, right? In terms of TA, uh, is the fact that we have a, and we had this before, a descending channel broke to the upside. We have another descending channel and we're hopefully going to break to the upside. One of the reasons why we should be breaking to the upside here is because we have a double bottom here uh, at around this $2 support region. Um, we have some sort of weird inverse head and shoulders um, if you want to draw it like that. Hopefully we can break to the upside there and form new higher highs uh, above that $4 region. But um, you know, it, it seems like this right shoulder here is a little bit slanted downwards, which is not ideal. And you could actually perceive this as a high, a low, and a lower high, which is ultra bearish, right? Uh, usually descending channels of, of actually bearish formations. Um, we can see that the reason this descending channel actually worked out to our favor is because we bounced off of this major support zone, but we don't ha actually have any major support zones uh, on swipe unless we come all the way back down to this one. But at that point, um, you know, it might be too late in the bull market, I guess. Um, you know, that could be seen, you know, if it happens sooner rather than later as a larger uh, double bottom, which might encourage some, you know, massive amount of buying and swipe. But I'm not sure if we want to be going that low, right? I don't, I'm not sure if we want to be dropping uh, another, you know, at least 30% on swipe. It doesn't seem to be healthy at the moment. Um, and doing that would trigger a, a bearish MACD cross on the daily chart as well, uh, which really wouldn't be ideal. But, you know, if we want to have a full reset, that is definitely a scenario we should be looking out for. Um, you know, I'd definitely probably be interested in picking up swipe if it was to fall all the way back down here, depending on the market structure at the time. But I just don't think um, that that's going to happen. Uh, I think that you know, most likely the scenario here is we've rejected from the top, we come back down to the bottom one more time and then break to the upside. Um, but, you know, even that scenario seems interesting because we've actually just bounced off of this blue line here. So potentially we just break to the upside right now uh, and finish off this um, inverse head and shoulders pattern, which would be nice to see. So I do think swipe will go up in the short term. Um, I do think that for sure we have, you know, a couple of resistance zones coming through from these SMAs. We have the Gaussian channel resistance coming through, which would actually line up pretty well with this descending channel. So there is some pretty tough resistance we need to be breaking. Um, if we look at the VVPR, right, and this is the volume profile. So this, and we'll zoom out all the way so we can get a good idea. We'll zoom out to around here, right? Uh, this gives us a good idea of uh, where the, the general points of contention are in terms of buying and selling and general vol volume in the market. And what we can see is that um, we have, you know, pretty much very high level of VVPR, uh, sorry, of volume, uh, you know, in terms of buying and selling in the market uh, until this thick line here that I just drew. Uh, from this point onwards, which is around $3, $3.15, uh, it gets progressively easier for Swipe to move up very quickly, right? And that's something to look out for uh, until we reach that point. And the interesting thing about that point, right, is because just what I've just listed uh, is actually where we topped out in this region here at around September 9th. Um, and that's where we're going to be looking to form a new higher high to flip, flip this entire construction, right? Because I actually wouldn't be looking to buy into Swipe, um, you know, if I was 
interested in buying into swipe, which I'm actually quite frankly not. Um, but if I was, I wouldn't be looking to buy into swipe in le unless we flip this high here and create a new higher high above this region. And flipping that entire region here at three dollars and fifteen cents would actually, um, you know, put us above that major zone of contention on the VVPR, and hence we can start making moves to the upside. So that is a good buying signal. Once we flip three dollars and fifteen cents on the daily chart, that's where I'd be looking to pick up swipe if I was interested in buying it. Um, in terms of the weekly chart. And we just looked at these uh, lower highs we're making, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, higher lows we're making here on Swipe. Um, but in terms of the weekly chart, you know, what we can see, we can bring up some of the MACD. Um, and what we're seeing on the MACD, you know, we, we can see there is the potential for a, a very bullish, uh, you know, upcoming weeks uh, and months for Swipe. I'm not saying there isn't. Right? I think that Swipe is going to move up. I think that every altcoin, you know, on a general basis is going to move up. Uh, but if we do see a bounce off of this region, which I think is the most likely scenario, right? I'm not saying swipe's going to go down. I just think it's going to be an underperformer. That's all. Um, you know, if we do bounce off this region and create this higher low, uh, then this MACD cross will become incoming. And a, a bullish weekly MACD cross is not something to just brush off, right? Every time we've seen a bullish weekly MACD cross on swipe, for example, we can zoom out a little bit. We can see we had one here, right? That led to a price pump, right? Upwards here. Um, we had one here that led to a price pump, a massive run up actually from around 80 cents to around $6. And then we've seen one here uh, just a few months ago, and that led to a price pump from around $1.60 uh, to around $4.70. So, you know, there is the potential for a big move, a big move, right? Um, and that MACD cross will probably be incoming. I'd be very surprised if we don't see that bullish MACD cross on Swipe. And I would be quite frankly very surprised if we do continue to drop down here on the daily chart. I think the breakout uh, is intimate, right? Within the next couple of within the next couple of weeks, at the very longest, I think we're going to be breaking out on Swipe. Yes, I do think old coins going to be underperforming Bitcoin for at least a little while as Bitcoin uh, regathers all-time highs. But um, I still think old coins are going to move up. Uh, as to where Swipe can go by the end of a cycle, well. I think the most logical thing to look at, um, you know, taking into account the fact that we do have uh, the the general price of swipe being constantly def like you know uh, constantly uh, repressed uh, and uh, suppressed, sorry, by by market cap differences, um, we're we're kind of looking. Uh, we're looking at a very low target for Swipe, right? In comparison to other coins, I think that, you know, I'm expecting the bull market for all coins to end according to the four-year cycle theory. Uh, at the very latest, at the very latest, right? The end of January, possibly into early February, right? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. I'd say 31st of January. Um, and then if we just look at Swipe and where it can go by that point, we can see that we're probably gonna be doing something like this, right? And according to this chart, we'll be looking at a price point of around $7.61 on Swipe, uh, which... You know, from current prices, uh, we'll look at that in a second here. We'll just label that out quickly. From current prices, that's an increase of around 224%, which is which is basically not much at all, right? This is what I mean. It's not much at all, uh, at all for a, a bull market. Um, but, you know, I think that uh, considering uh, the, the bad, the very poor tokenomic uh, situation that's happening with Swipe right now, and the fact that we're constantly just going to get uh, devaluated in terms of price by this, uh, you know, increase in circulating supply, I think it's um, probably the best, you know, the best case scenario to an extent. I, you know, there's, there's a very small chance, um, you know, in my opinion, that we will actually break out of this uh, long-term resistance line. And, you know, that, that could very well happen. Actually, I won't say it's a very small chance. It could very well happen in the parabolic stage. Uh, but, you know, I think to a certain extent, you just got to think that like what looks logical, right? Uh, to the people who think that we're going to 100 USD on swipe, right? Uh, assuming the four-year cycle theory plays out, uh, this is what that would look like, right? We come all the way up here uh, and, then, and then we'll zoom up and we'll get some perspective on what this would actually look like, right? Do you think uh, it looks logical for swipe to do that? Right, this is not even the log scale. This is linear chart. Do you think Swipe's going to do that? I mean, seriously, uh, that would it means it's going to go up at least, you know, uh, what like three dollars per day? Uh, no, that's not going to happen, right? It's not going to one hundred USD, no matter how bullish you are, no matter how you know big you think the whole season is. There's just simply not enough time left. Um, I think that I think that this region here at around seven dollars, seven dollars fifty, um, you know possibly a little bit higher uh, is probably the best case scenario for SXP. Uh, so I'm sorry to d disappoint all of you XSP fans out there. As I said, I really do like the fundamentals. I really do like the fundamentals. I just think it's it's not doing well in this bull market and I don't think it's going to have a moment of redemption. I think that, you know, 
there will be a phase in which it pumps uh, quite massively, but that pump is going to be constantly dragged down by these bad tokenomics, you know. Uh, so we look at the Bitcoin pair, uh, and this is this is not related to uh, the USD pair. The Bitcoin pair is essentially uh, measuring how well Swipe does uh, in comparison to Bitcoin. Um, and what I'm going to be expecting on the Bitcoin pair is continued depreciation until we reach um, a low price point here, because I am expecting uh, Bitcoin dominance to keep rising uh, until about December. Uh, from which altcoins can start making their moves. That usually happens after Bitcoin tops out. So it'll probably be keeping dropping for a little bit, you know, reaching at the very lowest. I don't think we're going to go lower than our all-time low. 2,000 sats at the very lowest, right? You know, I think that it's not really necessary for us to go lower than that um, or even getting there, right? We can even say somewhere around 3,000 sats, but we don't really have any meaningful support in that region. Um, you know, even the current zone right now, uh, but I, I'm not too confident we'll be bouncing in this zone. We have held this zone for support for around uh, eight months, but you know, this is a period in time in which Bitcoin is going to be going up exponentially more uh, than old coins to a certain extent. Um, so, you know, I think it's pretty likely we're going to drop below this 2000, this 4,200 sat region into like the 3,000s maybe. Uh, and then as December comes along, as old coins start doing well, a swipe will have another, res uh, another resurgence in Bitcoin dominance and will go up again. I'm thinking for a target, you know, we're looking... Uh, you know, this is a major resistance box, this red one here. It's got around, uh, you know, between 7,500 sats and 10,000 sats. It looks like that could be an interesting place for Swipe to top out. Um, you know, realistically, it could go a little bit higher. It could go all the way up to 15,600 sats, but I can't go it. I can't see it going, uh, you know, into new all-time highs at 43,000 sats, right? Uh, does it really seem logical for Swipe to go up, you know, nine times to 10 times in value on the Bitcoin pair? You know, especially with all of this stuff going on in terms of a TA, I don't think so. I don't think so, right? I think that 15,000 sats uh, is probably the best case scenario, which is still bullish, right? Still bullish, still like a 4X. Um, so, you know, I guess overall what I can say about Swipe is um, I like the fundamentals. I, I have traded the coin in the past. I think that it's underwhelming. I think that's underwhelming in this bull market. I think it's probably going to continue to be underwhelming. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy uh, to be proven wrong. Uh, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be investing in this coin. I'm saying you should probably do your own research. Just because I don't like a coin, it doesn't mean you cannot like the coin. Um, so thanks for watching the video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.